case, we're going to prove an important theorem here. The theorem states that if A divides C and B divides C, with the GCD of A and B being equal, equal to 1, then A times B divides C. So let's go ahead and start this proof. We're going to assume um, A divides C, B divides C, and uh, the GCD of A and B is equal to 1. All right, well, go down a little bit. A divides C um, implies that C is equal to AK, where K is some integer. Uh, B divides C implies that C is equal to BQ, where Q is some integer. And of course, the GCD of A and B equal to one implies that um, AX plus BY is equal to one, where X and Y are integers, right? We can write the GCD of A and B as a linear combination, and that linear combination is equal to one. All right, so what I want, remember, I want A, I want A B divide C. So out of this expression, I wanna get um, A B together. And the way I can do that is uh, first I need C, so I can multiply both sides of this equation by C. So this implies that, um, let's see, um, ACX plus BCY is equal to C. And as you can see here, I want AB and AB over here. So I can substitute the C here with BQ. So this implies that A times a BQX plus B times, and then I'm gonna substitute this C here with AK, a k y is equal to c. From both of these, I can factor out an a b. So I'll have a b um, here will be q x plus. Um, if I factor out an a b from here, it would be k y is equal to c. I can see that q x plus um, k y is an integer. So I have a b times an integer is equal to c. So this means that AB divides C. And that's what I set out to do, right? I wanted to show that if A divides C and B divides C um, with the fact that GCD of A and B is one, then the product A and B divides C. And that's exactly what I showed.